Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given equation x square minus x minus 3 whole square minus x cube equal to 17 and where x are our real numbers. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's move this 17 on the left hand side and here in this next step I have moved this 17 on this side that becomes negative 17. Now let's focus on this negative 17. We could write it as negative 16 and negative 1. So our this equation is going to become x square minus x and then minus 3 square and now I'm going to move this negative 16 right up here and then I'm going to write down negative x power 3 and then negative 1 over here equal to 0. And here's our next step. We can write x square minus x minus 3 same and then this 16 could be written as I can write negative and then 4 square and in these two between these two terms negative is in common I can write x cube and then plus 1 equal to 0 and now in this next step let's focus on this part that I'm going to put inside this bracket this represents the difference of two squares Therefore, we are going to use this formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b. So therefore, we can write this part as x square minus x minus 3 and then minus 4 and then times x square minus x minus 3 and then plus 4. And then we are going to write this part now, negative x power 3 plus 1 equal to 0. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing that is going to give us x square minus x and then minus 7 times x square minus x then plus 1 and then minus x cube plus 1 equal to 0 and here's our next step let's write down x square minus x minus 7 as it is likewise x square minus x plus 1 as it is as well minus let's focus on this part this 1 could be written as 1 power 3 so we got x cube plus 1 cube so therefore this represents the sum of two cubes and we are going to use this formula a cube plus b cube so therefore we can write this one as x plus 1 time x square minus x and then plus 1 equal to 0. Now we can see that this part and this part they are in common. So therefore we can factor them out x square minus x and then plus 1 and inside the bracket I'm going to write down x square minus x and then minus 7 and then minus x plus 1 inside this bracket equal to 0 let's fix let's simplify furthermore so x square minus x plus 1 and then times this is going to become x square minus x minus 7. Let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign so that is going to give us negative x minus 1 equal to 0 and this further could be simplified as x square minus x plus 1 times let's combine the like terms so x square minus 2x minus a turns out to be equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and split these two factors I can write x square 
minus x plus 1 equal to 0 and the other factor is x square minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. And now let's focus on this first equation. This is a quadratic equation and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and check whether this has got any real solutions. And here's the discriminant. Always remember discriminant is always equal to b square minus 4ac. Let's go ahead and find the discriminant of this quadratic equation. In our case, our a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this discriminant b square minus 4 is c. So b in our case is negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1. So we got 1 square is 1 minus 4. So that means our discriminant turns out to be negative 3. Now we can see that this discriminant is negative. So negative discriminant means there's no real solutions. So therefore this quadratic equation we are going to reject this scenario this case and now let's focus on this second quadratic equation and here I have copied it down and we are going to solve it by factoring and now let's look at this uh, constant part this 8 could be factored out to 2 times 4 so therefore this negative 8 could be broken down to 2 times negative 4 4 and we can see if we add these two numbers we are going to get negative 2 and if we multiply them we are going to get negative 8. So therefore our possible factors are going to be x plus 2 times x minus 4 and we are going to set it equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. So we got x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 4 equal to 0. So that means our first x value is going to be x equal to if we move 2 on the other side become negative 2. That's our first solution. And our second solution is going to be x equal to positive 4. So thus our solutions turned out to be x equal to negative 2 and x equal to 4. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.